build a tech program is designed to take these individuals who have a need or want to be a part of this industry and provide them with functional, technically sound training. It has been challenging from day one. The last couple of weeks have been intense, been a lot of information to absorb, but I've learned a lot. Lennox does a great job. The instructors were great. You know, when you've been in the industry for a while, you can just kind of see people that have it. When Nathan came in, just by the way he would phrase a question, I knew kind of where he was going. I knew he was going to be a good student. Nathan took what he's learned in the field for the past year, and he put it to work here in the lab. Caroline has, has been great. I helped her along the way as much as I could, and she helped me. We worked well together. We did well together. He did help with questions. He was a big part of me improving. Caroline actually was voted the most improved student. I think that it was reflective of the work that she did. Me being here helps the customer a lot. I'm coming in with knowledge. I'm not coming in and playing a guessing game as to how am I going to fix your system. It's going to benefit them and me in the long run, so I'm pretty grateful for that. Technical training is hard to come by, and I would encourage anybody that has an interest, stay focused, work hard. Companies will invest in you eventually. Polar Bear is one of the few companies on island that offer technical training, so take every opportunity you can get to make yourself a better technician. It's a challenge, but it's a good one. I would encourage our government to invest in technical training on island so that we can do it at home and have a fully Caymanian skilled labor force. That's how it's supposed to be.